Hey guys, how's it going? In this video, we're going to go over two worked examples to show you how to do problems involving thermistors and LDRs. Now, if you haven't already done so, check out my previous video covering the theory on this topic, and that way you can apply what you learned in that video to this one. So let's get started. So we're going to do one example for thermistors and then one example for LDRs. Question 1 says that a circuit containing a thermistor is shown below. So we've got a 12 volt battery, a thermistor and a 2000 ohm resistor in series with it. It then says the thermistor is at a temperature of 20 degrees Celsius. The current passing through the thermistor is 4 milliamps. Part A then says to calculate the voltage across the resistor. Well in order to find the voltage across the resistor, we know its resistance but we also need to know the current passing through it. But if we look back at the picture, notice that it is a series circuit so we should know that current is the same at all points in a series circuit. So if the current passing through the thermistor is 4 milliamps there, then it must also be 4 milliamps that is passing through the resistor as well. So writing down what we know from the question here, we're trying to find VR, I'm just calling the voltage across the resistor VR to keep us right. We know that I is 4 milliamps, which is the same as 4 times 10 to the minus 3 amps, and the resistance R is 2.0 kilo ohms, which is the same as 2.0 times 10 to the 3 ohms, or 2000 ohms. Writing down our equation, we have VR equals IR, Substituting in the numbers now, we have 4 times 10 to the minus 3 times 2.0 times 10 to the 3, and putting that into your calculator gives a final answer of 8 volts. Part B says to state the voltage across the thermistor. Well, notice the word state means that we don't really have to do much work here, and if you look back at the circuit diagram, we said our supply voltage was 12 volts, and we've now calculated the voltage across the resistor to be 8 volts. So you need to remember the rule for voltage in a series circuit, which is that the voltage across the components should add up to give the voltage across the supply. So the voltage across the thermistor added to the voltage across the resistor needs to add up to 12 volts. So if the voltage across the resistor is 8 volts and the total is 12 volts across the supply, then that means the missing voltage must be 12 minus 8, which is 4 volts. So writing down the working for this, we have that the voltage across the thermistor is equal to the voltage of the supply minus the voltage across the resistor, which equals 12 minus 8, which equals 4 volts. Part C then says to find the resistance of the thermistor. So this time we're trying to find RT, and we now know the voltage across the thermistor is 4 volts, and the current in the thermistor is 4 milliamps, which is the same as 4 times 10 to the minus 3 amps, which we said earlier. So writing down our equation, we have VT equals IRT, just using the T's to mean thermistor and keep us right. So rearranging for RT, we can divide both sides by I. So we get RT equals VT over I, and putting in the numbers gives us 4 divided by 4 times 10 to the minus 3, and if you put that into your calculator, you should get an answer of 1 times 10 to the 3 ohms. We'll now do the one example for LDRs, which stands for light dependent resistor. So question one says that a circuit containing an LDR is shown below. We've got our battery here with an ammeter next to it, and then our LDR with a voltmeter across it. It then says that light is shown on the LDR. The reading on the voltmeter is 4 volts, and the reading on the ammeter is 12 milliamps. So that's the reading here is 12 milliamps, and the reading on the voltmeter, which is the voltmeter across the LDR, is 4 volts. So this means that the voltage across the LDR is 4 volts. Part A says to calculate the resistance of the LDR. So writing down what we know from the question, we're trying to find the resistance of the LDR. We know the voltage across the LDR is 4 volts, and then if we look back at the circuit diagram, notice how the reading in the ammeter is 12 milliamps and it's a series circuit. And remember, current is the same at all points in a series circuit. So that if the current there is 12 milliamps, then it must also be 12 milliamps passing through the LDR. So we have the current I is 12 milliamps, which is the same as 12 times 10 to the minus 3 amps. And writing down our equation, we have VLDR equals IRLDR, again just using LDRs this time to keep us right. And we can rearrange for RLDR by dividing both sides by I. So we get RLDR equals VLDR over I. Substituting in the numbers gives us 4 divided by 12 times 10 to the minus 3. And putting that into your calculator gives a final answer of 333 ohms. Part B says that the LDR is then placed in a dark room. Explain what happens to the current. Well, here we need to remember our rule LERD for LDRs, which says that as light intensity goes up, resistance of the LDR goes down. But notice how the LDR is placed in a dark room, so this means the light intensity goes down. So remember the opposite of light up, resistance down is also true, which is light down, resistance up. So as light intensity decreases, we can say that the resistance of the LDR must go up. So that's what it says here. Using LERD, as light intensity goes down, i.e. as it decreases, the resistance of the LDR increases. And we should also remember the relationship between resistance and current, the fact that resistance is in opposition to current flow. So if resistance of the LDR increases, 
then that means that current must decrease. So since the resistance of the LDR increases, the current in the LDR must decrease, which explains what's happening to the current. That's all for this video, folks. I hope you find it useful. If you did, give it one of these, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.